Hi there, my name is Richard Fleming. I'm the Sales and Application Manager for XTA. And I'm here today at, at Infocom 2017 to introduce to you the DPA power amplifier with D DSP inside and the DNA power amplifier range, uh, which are a dumb amplifiers. Right, let's give you a bit of an overview of the DPA amplifier. The DPA amplifier is effectively a four in eight output processor yeah, with four channels of Dante input, four channels of Dante output. Yeah, uh, the first four channels of, 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 of processing feed the speaker outputs. Yeah, and the second four channels of processing feed dedicated XLR line level outs. So if we just head around the back of the amplifier now, yeah, what you can see is just like you'd expect on a on a power amplifier. You've got four speaker outputs, but you've also got these line level XLR outputs. What this allows you to do is to use DPA as a central control system for both active and passive boxes. Yeah, and you can see here this is a slave amplifier on the bottom, and what we're doing in this setup is routing audio via Dante. Yeah, on these aux aux Dante auxiliary outputs. Yeah to a DNA amplifier located below. So if we head back around the front now, yeah, what you can see is that you can control the DPA network of amplifiers using audio core or our iPad app. Yeah. Now one of the things that we've done with, with the, the DPA range of amplifiers is we've incorporated a very flexible grouping system. So if we look at this, this monitor here, one of these groups here, yeah, and these absolute groups here for speaker settings, yeah, basically could be con controlling maybe 20, 30, or 40 outputs. That means you get really great workflow. So to, to tie things up together, the DPA is a four in eight output processor combined with a four channel power amplifier and you can get powers at one kilowatt, two kilowatt, and three kilowatt, and five kilowatt a channel. I'm going to sign off now. For more information, please head over to www.xda.co.uk.